guys, my name is Claire James Carl and welcome back to another video of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. In the last episode, our horrible arch nemesis, is she our arch nemesis? Maybe, I'm not sure whether she is, but she's a horrible, horrible girl. I feel like she tried to kill us, like, and locked us in that cupboard. If you didn't see that episode, go and check it out. But yeah, she locked us in that cupboard with... What was it called? With the Devil's... Devil's Snare? Yeah, with the Devil's Snare. And we finally escaped and we have been learning how to... Well, basically how to be a witch. We've been learning uh, broomstick riding and like potions and things. We're at the training grounds now for our broomstick flying. I don't know what we need to go and do. Oh, okay. We are on chapter four. We need to, oh, report to Jane. Jane wants to hear what happened with Marula. Okay, so we need to go and report to her. I don't know where she is. Where is she? How do we do this? Do we need to go back somewhere? Oh, here we go. Oh no, do we need to go in there? Report to Jane. Let's report to Jane and tell her what happened. Why do you think our prefect wants to meet us on the training grounds? I wouldn't be surprised if Marula somehow got kicked out of Hugglepuff. Do you want to talk about what she said about your brother? Um, I mean, yeah, let's talk about it. You already know most of the story from the Daily Prophet. My brother was obsessed with the idea that there were cursed vaults containing mysterious treasures hidden at Hogwarts. But no one believed him. Not even our mum. He broke all kinds of rules and put people in danger while trying to prove he was right. Some people say he unleashed curses on Hogwarts. Some say he was cursed himself. Everyone thought he was mad. Marula was lying about him being involved with Voldemort, but she was right about him being missing. After he got expelled, he ran away from home and hasn't been seen since. There were rumours he came back here searching for the vaults. Sometimes I wonder if he really was mad. Sometimes I wonder if I am too. I don't think you're mad, Greenoid. I think you're brilliant and I'm glad you're my friend. I hope I'm not mad. I hope I don't turn out to be a mad person in this uh, in this story. Thanks, Rowan. Marula will keep attacking us until we do something to stop her. How can we defend ourselves? Oh, here's Jane. That's exactly why I invited you here, Greenoid. You know about what happened with Marula? Word travels faster, Hogwarts. I wouldn't be doing my job as your prefect if I didn't help teach you to defend yourself. I'm going to teach you how, I'm going to teach you to how to duel. Oh, I'm excited for this. We're going to learn how to duel. But we don't know any dueling spells. Hugglepuffs keeps a secret dueling book hidden in the artifact room. It will teach you various spells, potions and techniques. Meet me again after you've learned a dueling spell and I'll teach you everything else you need to know. Oh, okay. So, we've reported to Jane. Now we need to go find the dueling book. Go to the artifact room and find that book of dueling spells. Oh, it's our only chance. If it's our only chance, we best go over there. We need to go in the corridor, do we? Yeah, find the dueling book. Hmm. Oh, this looks like a spooky old cupboard. There's a little um skull there. Nice. Let's see. They say untold treasures lie within the artifact room, along with untold odours. Let's hurry up and find that dueling book. I'll fight the urge to catalogue every single amazing thing in this room. I'll probably fail, but at least I'm good at multitasking. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Mysterious voice. Green eyed. What? What what? <laughs> you said my name. Um, no I didn't. I heard a voice. Wasn't me. Oh, must be my imagination. Let's just find that book. Uh-oh, I'm a bit freaked out here. What was that? Oh, so search for the book. We have got an hour to do this. So let's use some of our energy. What can we do? 
You can examine these, whatever they are, rolling pins. They kind of look like, oh no, are they scrolls? <laughs> that would make more sense, right? Scrolls rather than rolling pins. Uh, let's go check this shelf up here. And then, what's in this cupboard? Study, I thought it was gonna be like search through, not study, <laughs> that's a weird thing. Oh, a book on apparition. I'll remember to read this one later. Oh, so we found something? Okay. Um, so we only needed one star, but I mean, we may as well keep going to try and get all five stars, right? It appears to be a shopping list. Search behind there. Ooh, what's this? Let's look inside this barrel. This must be an old chalkboard. Anywhere else we can look? Is it just no? It's just this view. Let's uh, go back in that cupboard. Try to open. Did we get it open? I don't think we did. Oh, success! Okay, excellent. We got all five stars and little bits of extra coins. I found the book. Brilliant. Now we can learn a dueling spell so our prefect can train us to stand up to Marula. Oh my goodness, what's happened? Greenoid, are you alright? I saw something in my mind. A walking suit of armour, a staircase shrouded in mist, ice encasing Hogwarts, spreading faster and faster. Ice? And I heard that voice again. It said, the ice is here, the vault will open. I still don't think you're mad, but I wonder if your brother saw these same visions. Let's just get back to the Hufflepuff common room and get some sleep. Okay, that's a bit freaky. Get some rest whilst I read a this dueling book. We'll catch up later. So, we have to wait for three hours, do we, maybe? I think we have to wait. Yeah, we can either speed that up with coins, not coins, gems. And we need to wait for three hours. Time has passed, so we can now go over and meet Rowan. And where are we going? Oh, into the Great Hall, right? Yeah, into the Great Hall. Meet with Rowan in here. I love the Great Hall. I just think it looks so amazing. Where is she? Oh, here she is, all the way over here. I mean, look at it, it's so cool. Let's click on her. How are you, Greenard? Have you had any more visions since we left the artifact room? No, I would tell someone, but with Marula going on about my brother, people already think I'm mad. I know you're the one who deserves to be upset, but these visions have me rattled. Do you mind if we catch our breath for a bit? Sure, Rowan, that's probably a good idea for us both. Ooh, what do we need to do? Discussing your vision? Is that what we want to do? Hang on, let's just have a little check. I think, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Let's start that. Your vision really has me worried, Green-Eyed. Um, have you had visions before? So we need to reassure her, so I don't think so. I don't trust you enough to say I've heard voices before? I mean, we should say I don't think so, right? Oh, maybe, no, we should have said like, oh, so we've got to be a bit truthful. How do I know what the truth is? We need three diamonds to pass, five turns left. Visions can be dangerous. You're making me feel worse. That's why I need your help or I'll be fine. I feel like we should say that's why I need your help because by just saying we're fine, yeah, no, let's say I need your help. Oh, yes. Perfect. Look at the sandwiches that they're eating. <laughs> Bless them. Oh, we made her feel better. Perfect. Thanks for making me feel better, Green-Eyed. I'm just worried about you. I'm sure you'll feel better after I answer all of your questions. I well, hope so. Right, four turns left. How can I help? You probably can't by keeping it a secret with knowledge and friendship. I'm sure with knowledge and friendship is definitely the way to go. Yes, it is. I'm not sure we're going to get, oh yeah, no, maybe that, that bar went across quite a long way then. I didn't think we were going to 
do very well on this, but I think we might. Did your brother have visions? That's too personal. He had a strange imagination, or I don't know. Mm, I feel like we want to say he had a strange imagination. Yes. I wonder if that'll take us all the way up. No, I think we maybe we'll need one more. Oh, we get a high empathy bonus. I'm feeling a lot better now, Greenard. There are just a couple of things that are still worrying me. I'll answer all of your questions, Rowan. You'll see there's no reason to worry. Do you think it was a warning? <laughs> yeah, we're probably doomed. <laughs> or a clue? Maybe both. I'm not sure. Uh, let's say, or a clue, maybe both. Yes! Success. We made Rowan feel better. And we got three diamonds. Awesome. Thanks, Green Eyed. We'll work out what your vision means together. Have we increased our friendship with her? Or Oh, no, not quite. We're still on level two. I feel better about my visions, but I'm still anxious about this duel. Thankfully, the dueling book we found details everything you need to know to defeat Marula. That's great, Rowan. What did you find? So many things. What do you want this new spell to do? Oh, okay. Do we want to hurt her, embarrass her, or have many uses? I don't know how to play this with Marula because uh, we don't want to bully her. I feel like we want it to hurt her, but we have to stop her. So, I mean, let's. I don't want to hurt her. Let's. Although embarrassing is her not is not nice either, but I. I'm going to go with Embarrass. Marula has tried to ruin my reputation since the second I got to Hogwarts. I want to do the same to her. Hmm. I'll keep reading until I find the perfect spell. I can teach it to you in the Hogglepuff common room. But here's the most amazing piece of information in the book. Professor Flitwick is a champion dueler. You should ask him to give you some tips or even teach you a cool dueling spell. Thanks so much, Rowan. I'll learn all of this as fast as I can before Marula has the chance to bully anyone else. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Got to go and talk to Professor Flitwick. I understand you're looking for me, Miss Gems. Meet me at the Clock Tower Courtyard. Let's head over to the courtyard to talk to him. Oh, we've got full energy now. Yeah, we have. We've got 25 full energy. Let's chat to him. Excuse me, Professor Flitwick, I have a question for you. What can I do for you, Miss Jemsicle? Professor, is it true that you were a dueling champion before you taught at Hogwarts? It's true. I can stupefy and protego with the best of them. I have a shelf full of trophies to boot. Do you think you could teach me some of what you know? The Hogwarts curriculum includes lessons on many defensive spells, Miss Jemsicle. I need some advanced instruction, Professor. Hmm, tell me, why do you want to duel? Ooh, dueling is cool to defend myself, to learn more skills. We've either got to say to defend or to learn more skills, I think. If we say defend, maybe he'll be like, well, why do you need to defend yourself? What's going on? But then maybe he could help us with that. Let's say to defend myself. I've been attacked before. I want to be able to defend myself. Well, that's understandable. But dueling should always be your last resort. Teach me, Professor. I won't let you down. Hmm. Having a think about it. Please, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I was afraid things might be difficult for you here at Hogwarts, given your brother's reputation. I may be able to teach you the finest self-defense spell I know. I will teach you one spell, the jeweler's most ex most essential spell, Expelliarmus. It is intended to disarm your opponent without causing them injury. We're going to learn Dispelliarmus. Okay, start dueling. We need five stars to pass and this is an hour long thing, so we need to concentrate hard. When I cast a spell, my mind should be clear of all things except the incantation. Oh, swivel our hips. That's good. Nice and loose. Is anything else around here to click on or is it just... 
us. No, it's just us and Flitwick. Oh, maybe we can do it all in one one lot of um of energy. That would be good. I think we're going to be able to take a break. Take a break. That's not what we want to be doing. We're nearly done. Oh, okay. Focus. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I wanted to click on the book there. Practice charm. Has that taken? Yes. Did we do it? Brilliant. Expelliarmus. We got quite a few coins there. 25 coins. Let's collect the prizes. Good. You have the hang of it. Now let's see you cast the disarming charm on me. On you? Now. Whoa. Okay. Did we do it? Did it work? It did. Did it? I don't know. You've done it. You truly do have a gift for charms. Thank you so much, Professor Flitwick. This will be a huge help. You might also consider practicing with Mr. Cooper. He's hesitant, but very skilled. I will. I've always thought that Ben is better at charms than he lets on. Promise me that you will only duel if you have no other choice, Miss Gemsicle. I promise. I can't promise. Well, we can't promise. We can't, can't promise because we haven't got three uh, in that, whatever that one is. So we have to say I promise. We have to promise him. Which I think I would do anyway, to be honest. I promise I'll only duel to defend myself, Professor. Good. I believe you have a great promise and I would hate to see you ruin it by breaking school rules. Dueling is not allowed on school grounds without permission, Miss Gemsicle. If you use this spell for anything except self-defence, I will be forced to recommend your expulsion. Yikes. I don't want to disappoint Professor Flitwick, but if I don't duel Marula, she'll never stop bullying everyone. Expelliarmus should be exactly what I need to win our duel. Oh, we need to meet with Rowan. I'm still reading through the dueling book. I'll let you know when I've found something. We need to wait another three hours, or is there something... Oh, hang on. Oh, we've got something else that we can do. So we can either... We need to meet with Rowan there, in, like, the main thing, but... Side quest. Oh, we've got side quest. Let's go and talk to Ben, then. Ben Cooper... Ben Copper, the cowardly Gryffindor, has a good heart and a preternation. What does that say? Preternatural gift. Preternatural gift for charms work. He could use a friend like you. Let's go. We can earn some little side rewards, which I am always up for. Let's go and talk to Ben whilst we wait for Rowan. Where is he? Ben. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, look. There's Marula there. Here's Ben. There's a few other people we can talk to, but let's talk to Ben. What's wrong, Ben? You look worried. I mean, you look more worried than usual. I don't think I can do this anymore, green -eyed. What do you mean? I don't belong at Hogwarts. I thought I'd be able to adjust, but the longer I'm here, the more I find to be afraid of. How do you stay so brave? I'm afraid too. I stay active. I stay focused. Let's say I stay focused. When I feel afraid, I try to focus on learning new spells and potions that make me feel more confident and powerful. Trying new spells and potions is the thing I'm most afraid of. You'll be fine, Ben. Let's just talk about what's worrying you and I'll do my best to make you feel better. Okay, but I'll just tell you some of what's worrying me so that we aren't here until year-end exams. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's just worried about everything. The poor thing. Do we want to, yeah, let's keep talking to him then. Oh, so this is going to be, I I don't think I belong at Hogwarts, Green Eyed. Oh, there's so much to be afraid of. Everyone feels afraid, so, let's say everyone feels afraid sometimes. Yes. We're eating sandwiches again. We've just had sandwiches with, <laughs> with I've forgotten her name, or well, with Rowan. Our friends aren't scared. They're better at hiding it. We'll keep each other safe. You're the bravest, Ben. Um, we'll keep each other safe, maybe? We'll keep each other safe. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, 
That's we don't going well. Thanks, Greenoid. I feel a bit better, but I'm still not sure I belong at Hogwarts. Everyone feels like that sometimes, Ben. Let's just talk some more. Why was I put in Gryffindor? You have to trust the sorting hat. Cowardice goes with Gryffindor. You're braver than you know. Ooh. Either trust the sorting hat or braver. I feel like, let's say you're braver than you know. Oh, yes, you're braver than you know. Perfect. You get a high empathy bonus. I feel a lot better, but I'm still wondering if I should go back home. Let's just keep talking, Ben. You'll see that we need you at Hogwarts. I belong in the Muggle world. So you can never go back. You belong at Hogwarts. You can go out for holidays. Um, I mean... You can go back for holidays, right? You can go back for holidays. Oh, <laughs> we should have said you belong at Hogwarts, but it was still, it was still okay. We still should get this. You think I'll succeed here? I know you will. I'm pretty sure no one ever succeeds. I know you will. You will succeed here, Ben. Stop being such a downer on yourself. Oh yes, we got three diamonds. Thanks, Greenoid. I don't know how I'd make it through Hogwarts without you. Yay! Are we going to level up our friendship? Yes, we have. Level 2 friendship, and we got five gems. Cool. Thank you, Greenoid. I'm feeling much better about surviving my time at Hogwarts. Quest complete, a friend in need. Awesome. Oh, we leveled up our empathy to three. I need to try and remember. So the heart is empathy. Knowledge is the book. Can't remember what the green one is. Can we click on it and see? Oh yeah, there we go. So courage. Oh, we've almost leveled up courage. Courage, courage, empathy, and knowledge. Do we have to wait now until we can go to the Hufflepuff common room to meet Rowan? I did want to complete this whole chapter within this episode, but because we've had to wait a couple of hours in between things and we've done a couple of side quests, I think here is the best time to end the episode. So we will continue this in the next episode. I am really enjoying this game. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and join me soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.